Bots, I sort of want to demystify bots for a second. A Twitter bot that can undermine PolitiFact, I can teach journalism students who have no experience with code at all how to do that in about four class periods. That's all it takes. You're talking about simple logic. You're talking about applying a library. If you have the time, you have a spare email address and you can pull up an API key, you can do it. Here it is. Here's an entire Twitter bot. This one does something pretty benign. It looks at the health department and finds uh, any news about influenza and just tweets it out and just says, hey, there's news about the flu, it's flu season. Well, you're talking about a very minimal amount of code necessary to create a Twitter bot. Now multiply this by the tens of thousands. The logic behind this is also stupid simple. You create a list of people you like and you don't like. When PolitiFact tweets something, when PolitiFact posts something, you look, is that person in that list? If they are, um, if, if they're people that we like, and PolitiFact said something positive about them, we can tweet out, yay team, everything's great. If PolitiFact says something critical of that, tens of thousands of bots can swoop in and go, it's biased, it's crap, it's garbage, it's all awful, ignore it. And people who are ideologically aligned with them will say, okay, I'll just ignore that information. So you can scale this into the thousands, and suddenly Churchill's expression about how a lie gets halfway around the world before the truth even gets its boots on, we're way past that. We're way, way, way past that. What I believe has gone on in our society, and the reason that this is a problem, is that what we're seeing is the absolute weaponization of cognitive biases. Now, cognitive biases are just Mental heuristics, there's shortcuts that our brains take. Some of them are okay, some of them are terrible. We all have them, we're all guilty. None of us are uh, clear of this. Uh, even people who are firmly aware of them will still fall prey to them. It's just the way our brains work. However, um, PolitiFact triggers a lot of these cognitive biases, ones that um, are making our politics terrible, and ones that a lot of organizations are pushing for short-term political gain, like confirmation bias. Believing only the information that actually goes to what you believe. You hear about um, the division of media and people engaging in only the stuff that they agree with and only watching a single channel. That's confirmation bias. The whole reason the whole fake news thing works is because of confirmation bias. You're going to click on a thing that you agree with. You're going to share a thing you agree with. You may not even read it. You're just going to share it because you agree with it. That's confirmation bias. There's also something called hostile media effects. Hostile media effects is where the more deeply partisan somebody is, they just believe that all media is out to get their side. Two deeply partisan people can look at the exact same story and walk away saying, it's biased against my team. Both of them. Whether it is or not. And another one is the backfire effect. So it would be nice to believe that if we could get corrective information out to people that they might back away from those beliefs, they might back away from that line of argument. It's not the case. The backfire effect actually shows that they'll retreat. The more deeply held it is, the more corrective information drives them back into it. You actually make people believe the lie more by correcting it. So in some sense, for some people, PolitiFact has made things worse. We built a cognitive bias machine. We built a machine that basically triggers everything that has made politics terrible right now. Confirmation bias, hostile media effects, the backfire effect, and we had no idea any of these things even existed when we started. We built a tool that can take hours, days, weeks to create corrective information and an army of bots and trolls can tear it down in seconds on Twitter or on Facebook. That's the bottom line. When I look at what I've done, that's the bottom line.